When someone follows the Lord in baptism, it's a time to be uh, commemorated and celebrated. It symbolizes that we have uh, accepted Jesus into our hearts and into our lives. And it is our desire to live for him uh, in accordance with his word. And so each of the candidates will be asked those two questions. Have you accepted Jesus into your heart and into your life? And is it your desire to live for him in obedience to his word? Something that I really appreciate about her is that she um, she seeks to understand and she asks hard questions, and that's one of the reasons that I know um, that she's sincere in her faith. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And is it your desire today to follow in baptism to identify publicly? So, Gabby, have you accepted the Lord Jesus as your Savior and as your Lord? Yes, I have. Is it, is it your desire to live for Him in obedience to His Word? I'm thankful for all my friends and all my family that have always been there for me. And I am glad that my mom and dad have pushed me in my faith and I'm ready. She had a statement that she wanted me to read. It is, I would like to thank my parents, Pastor Heather, Miss Becca, and my sister Michaela for helping me understand things about God and what he can do for me. Gabby, on the basis of your confession of faith, we want to baptize you now in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity today. We thank you for Leah's desire to follow you. I thank you that she's given her life to you, that she's now said that publicly. I ask that she would be a faithful disciple of yours, that in word and deed she would follow you, and that others would know you because of her life and because of the way she lives it. Lord, we want to say thank you for Gabby and what she means to us. Uh, thank you for the way that she radiates the love of God in so many different ways, the way that she emulates uh, the Lord Jesus. God, we just pray that she would continue to be faithful to you. We pray protection over her, Lord. Um, we pray for wisdom, that she would understand your word and understand um, your will for her. And Lord, I just thank you for the blessing that she is to those around us, Lord. And I just um, praise you and glorify you for the impact that she's going to have. Dear Lord, just thank you for my son. Thank you that he decided to make this choice to publicly announce that he's going to live for you, Lord. And just I'm um, excited to see what you do in this life in the time to come. We thank you for uh, this next generation of followers who are proclaiming publicly today uh, that they are following you, that you are um, their Lord and Savior. And Lord, I just pray that you would be with Gab as she continues on the journey of life. And Lord, allow her to have a witness to not only family and friends, but people beyond that as well. I pray that uh, her life would uh, have a meaningful impact upon others because of her devotion and her commitment to you. Bless her in every sense of the word we pray. We love her and we thank you for, for her. In Jesus' name, amen. And so be before them. Uh, this uh, is a great way to celebrate uh, the promise that was given uh, and obey. And then to see uh, these young people to follow uh, and accept what you did on the cross uh, by giving your life and now giving their life to follow you. Uh, God, do great things uh, in Leah's life and the life of others today. We praise in your name. Amen.